So, people, basically, um, in my last video, I made a video about all the Star Wars theatrically released live action films. Kind of call them live action, like I got a lot of CGI. But, anyways, I thought, what well, if I turn this into like a series, right? Where I kind of like, I'll watch a franchise. Because well, actually, what I kind of realized back when I watched it, I don't really watch many like franchises. Like, I'm going to, you know, like I sit down and like, you know what I'm going to start doing? I'm going to do a full viewing of the Indiana Jones trilogy, you know? I don't really do that much, and so I did the entire Star Wars trilogy, which I actually didn't do since I was five. And now I did the parts of the Caribbean film. So let's let's see how this kind of goes down. Anyways, so Curse of the Black Pearl. Hmm, Curse of the Black Pearl. You gotta love Curse of the Black Pearl. So, it's extremely fun. Got great action. Beautiful story. Really intriguing. But most importantly, out of all of these, it got... How do I describe the characters? They're... They're charismatic. They're intriguing. They have interesting, like, character arcs. And all the actors have beautiful characters. On the note of characters, it's kind of one... One that may stand out a bit. You know, the guy that's, like, Captain Jack Sparrow. Like, you know you're a big deal when in, your, when in the first movie... You're not the protagonist, and in the second movie, you are the protagonist, and nobody complains. Like, everyone did that with Cars, right? But no one complained about Jack Sparrow, because everyone loved Jack Sparrow. And, like, trust me, actually, when you rewatch the films, Jack Sparrow's definitely not the protagonist of Crystal Black Pearl. But, he has one of the greatest character introductions, besides what I, the Joker and the Dark Knight, because I think that's probably my favorite character introduction in the movie ever, but I'm getting started Right, it's so great. You know, he's Johnny Depp he's doing a great job. And yeah, actually so that's Curse of the Black Pearl. Kate, okay, Dead Man's Chest. It's hard way to like I to kinda of describe these movies. Or this type of movie of this like quality. So I just kinda of call it a sequel. It's like obviously, you know, you got things that are sequels. It's that's not like a way to rank a movie, but when like I say this movie's like a true sequel, it means it's not bad. It's not as good as the first one, but, like, it just kind of has more, right? It got more of that great action. More of the, you know, another, and slightly not, not as good as Curse of the Black Girl, but a, it's a nice, nice story. Great, and the characters, you know, they're all back, you know? It's like, yeah, we've got a couple newbies, and it's, it's fun, you know, enjoy it. New, you know, brings enough new ideas to keep it fresh, but, like, it's still kind of like, yeah, that's a sequel. Anyways, uh, I, okay, unpopular opinion here, I think this one actually has better action pieces than Curse of the Black Pearl, and I, like, the first thing I wrote down about Curse of the Black Pearl as, is, it's amazing action pieces, right? This one, I think it brings it up notch. like, there's that one scene where Norrington, Jack, and, um, is it Barbosa? No, it's not Barbosa, he's, he's dead until the end of the movie. What, Will... I'm having a brain fart. Sorry, it's since it's like winter break. I watch these. Anyways, right? They're like on the spinning wheel and having like this sword fight over Davy Jones' heart. And, um, like, it's nice because like, they all kind of like, all of them, all the characters have different like motives and like goals and stakes. Like, well, if Jack gets this, Norrington will lose this. But if Norrington gets this, Jack and Will, you know, will lose, the, and they're all different things, right, keeping it interesting, anyways, let's go to At World's End, Whew. At World's End, this one's really long, uh, I don't even have much, but the sad thing is, it's like, the one I have, like, least to say about, anyways, so this, this movie's quite long, like, two hours and 48 minutes, I'm pretty sure, but, don't, like, please don't, like, quote me on that, <laughs> anyways, so that's kind of, it's like, kind of a problem, but not really, you know, like, some of my favorite movies, they're long, you know, Lord of the Rings, that's those, those movies. If you do like a marathon, that'll take nine and a half hours. But anyways, game center. This is um a bit more sequely than Dead Man's Chest, so you know it's kinda just more it's nothing too interesting. Anyways, who on Stranger Tides, this one's fun. The fourth installment, which you know, the fourth installment always is um famously known as the bad one in the franchise. Let's really look at it. Star Wars, which is the bad one, the Phantom Menace. Um 
Fast and Furious, which is the bad one, the fourth one. They're always the worst one. For no reason. Pirates of the Caribbean, which is the worst one. The fourth one. Anyways, so what in the world has happened to Will and Elizabeth, right? Like, we just get these replacements, and it's like this one dude and this mermaid who have a horrible relationship that make you want to, like, go like... <laughs> Great acting there. Anyways, the story's just, like, really boring. Like, I don't really care about the fan I use. You know, I want to... I want to see some. I want to see some like true treasure. You know, I want to see something that controls the sea or a lot of lot of gold, cast gold in that fact, right? But then this one's just like, ooh, a fountain. You can't even like move it anywhere. Like, come on, guys, it's stuck. Uh, so it's gonna be like buried forever. Anyways, that's fuck us. That's definitely the worst one. Anyways, Dead Man Tell No Tale. Oh, it's kinda, like, Mediocre one of the ones like, oh yeah, Dead Man Tell No Tale exists, all right? Like Johnny Depp, he's not he's not really putting in any effort. The story's fine and all, like, meh. And, you know the actions, meh. Action sometimes really good, sometimes really bad. Like, why? Like this is the dumbest heist scene ever. Why you guys? If you're gonna rob the bank. You probably keep the bank in one position. It's not that hard. And why are you robbing it when it's like the most busy at its, at its grand opening? <sighs> Whatever. Anyways, that's all I kind of really got to say about this um this this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, stay tuned for the next video, and uh, we'll see you guys later.